What's up guys, it's Alive from the Samai Cartel and this is the entire loot drop table for the King's Fall Raid. The reason why I'm making this video is uh, so you guys know what you guys can get from each chest or each boss and all that good stuff. I have a lot of friends telling me, hey man, you want to do the Golgoroth chest? You know, it, it can drop exotics. So can it drop exotics? Uh, we'll find out soon enough. Anyways, the first chest, this is the, 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 you know, the chest that you get after teleporting, you know, from the Court of Orcs, all that good stuff. Uh, this chest can drop ghost and it can drop moldering shards. The second chest, this is the, the, the chest that's uh, I guess kind of hidden uh, in the ship part. Uh, this chest can drop shards, it can drop worm spore, hadium flakes and ammo synthesis of any type. The chest after the totems, of course, this is, uh, you know, the chest that you do after Death Singer Power times 10. Uh, you know, the chest that, uh, that says that the War Priest deems you worthy. Uh, this chest can drop a ghost, a fusion rifle, no wait. Yeah, a ghost, a fusion rifle, and shards. The war priest, which is what you guys are seeing right now, this dude can drop a ghost, a fusion rifle, a sniper, a machine gun, a rocket launcher, and shards. But most likely the war priest is going to hit you like he hates me, and he's only going to be dropping shards. Uh, the Golgoroth maze chest. It can only drop shards. Uh, by the way, that was a new move uh, for me. Uh, on this raid but anyways uh yeah the golgoroth chest uh it can drop only shards no exotics i repeat no exotics in the golgoroth chest guys it's not worth it it takes a long time sometimes so just forget that chest all right the next uh thing you know the next uh, loot drops come from golgoroth and he drops boost chest gloves fusion rifle shotgun uh, sniper and shards. If he hates you, uh, he's going to give you shards, but if he likes you, he might give you some raid gear. I actually got the boots and I got the gloves from Golgoroth. So, the piston chest. This is the chest that you get uh, on that, uh, you know, I guess it's kind of like a hidden chest because it's kind of, you, you know, you have to be like really, really, um, I guess, you know, you have to have like an eagle's eye to get this uh, chest and you have to know like where it is. Because uh, uh, this one was actually kind of complicated for, uh, you know, my sort of quote-unquote raid team to find. But anyways, the piston chest in the uh, jumping puzzle, I guess, that one has a small chance of dropping exotic armor or an exotic weapon. It can drop shards, hadium flakes, worm spore, and any type of ammo synthesis. The daughters, Oryx's daughters, alright, it can drop uh, shotgun, class items, I actually got a class item from them, uh, fusion rifle, and shards, uh, Oryx with no shards, okay, this is Oryx without, you know, the, uh, what's this thing called, um, Oryx without the 20 molder shards in your inventory, he can drop primaries, a helm, emblem, uh, shader, shards, exotic weapons, or armor, very, very low chance of that. And uh, this dude right here on Reddit says that it's random if he can drop class items or ghosts. But anyways, Oryx, after having 20 shards, he will make one additional drop. So it could be, you know, raid gear, it could be shards. Yes, it could be moldering shards, that's what sucks about it. Or it could be a King Slayer's ghost. And here in this Reddit article, it is specifically said, guys, that you will not, I repeat, you will not get uh, extra stuff from Oryx if you have 40 moldering shards, okay? It's just 20 people, so calm down. Uh, so that is pretty much it, guys. That is the entire, uh, I guess, loot table for the King's Fall Raid. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop it a like. Make sure to subscribe to join the Salahai Cartel. And I'll be seeing you guys on the next video. Peace out.